वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माई YouTube चैनल इफ यू आर न्यू आई एम डॉक्टर आप्या जरिन आई मेक वीडियोज ऑन फिटनेस हेल्थ एंड वेलनेस एंड बंच ऑफ अदर एक्साइटिंग एंड ब्रेन स्टॉमिंग वीडियोज दैट विल ग्लो योर माइंड सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी मोर टाइम लेट्स डाइव इन टू द वीडियो इफ यू आर वॉचिंग टू डेज वीडियो दैट मीन्स यू आर सफरिंग फ्रॉम हेयर फॉल प्रॉब्लम It's normal to shed between 50 and 100 hairs from your head each day. A few strands in your brush or comb shouldn't concern you. This is a natural phenomenon. Body knows its work properly. Like body knows when to eliminate the weaker things and replace it by something stronger. However, if you're losing much more than this, you may wonder if you're doing something wrong. See, you have to identify the situation. Like, are you losing more than 500 strands of hair per day? To say more than 500 strands per day can be counted as excessive hair loss. Or are you noticing that your hair volume is decreasing day by day? See, hair goes into three phases. These three stages are anagen, catagen, and telogen. In anagen phase, hair grows. and 90% of the total hair amount is in anagen phase rest 10% of it are in telogen phase telogen phase is the phase where hair fall starts that's why you lose 50 to 100 strands per day and that's completely normal if we talk about hair fall it can be divided into two broad categories the first one is telogen effluvium and the second is hormonal hair fall so what is telogen effluvium it's a condition is actually a stage in which many strands of hair suddenly enter into telogen phase and results into hair fall telogen effluvium has many reasons such as stress crash dieting surgery hospitalization medicines such as steroids hypertensives anti epileptic and hair fall after childhood it can also be genetic aging vitamin deficiency imbalance in diet maybe you away from your home for working purpose or study purpose and you're not getting enough balanced diet that is a diet deficient in vitamins minerals proteins and consuming too much fast food that may increase your weight by surplus calories but the diet is not balanced at all other reasons could be anemia any illness lack of exercise pollution since telogen phase lasts for 3 months so after the above mentioned triggering factors you will notice hair fall after 3 months when patients complain of sudden hair fall the stages telogen effluvium other causes could be medical conditions like alopecia it's a sudden hair loss that starts with one or more circular bald patches over the scalp Other causes could be scalp infections, trichotillomania. What is it? It's a hair pulling disorder. It is a mental disorder classified under obsessive compulsive and related disorder and involves recurrent irresistible urges to pull hair from the scalp, eyebrows, eyelids and other parts of the body. Another broad classification can be hormonal changes and hormonal changes can be from pregnancy, childbirth, menopause or thyroid issues. The other reasons for hair fall could be medications or supplements such as those used for cancer, high blood pressure, depression or arthritis. Radiation treatment for cancer also leads to hair loss. Any stresses such as physical or emotional may all lead to hair fall. Hormonal hair fall which can be caused by hormonal fluctuations from thyroid or polycystic ovaries in this phase hair fall is not sudden you will observe that hair volume is decreasing hair fall can be a major issue in dandruff on your scalp and your scalp is not healthy excessive use of hair styling product can lead to hair fall as well coloring your hair or using chemicals can also lead to hair fall too some common mistakes that you might be doing unknowingly that that can lead to extreme hair fall like washing your hair with too hot water or combing wet hair or securing with a very tight ponytail or using shampoo every day these causes should be understood and attended well to it after knowing the cause you can treat with hair vitamins or proteins like dal paneer soya fish egg chicken apart from these iron calcium vitamin b12 vitamin d copper plays a major role in reducing hair fall so we need to have a well balanced diet for this i will briefly tell you about some of the medical treatments available platelet rich plasma 
Injecting platelet-rich plasma that is PRP into the scalp helps stimulate growth in areas already impacted by hair loss. Blood is run through a centrifuge to separate out the platelet and then inject it into the scalp. Laser therapy. Low level laser may help improve your hair density. People with genetic hair loss and loss due to chemotherapy. This option is also called red light therapy and it works by stimulating epidermal stem cells. Mesotherapy treatment is a non-surgical treatment for hair regrowth. Mesotherapy is a procedure of providing the scalp with boost of vitamins and improving the blood flow for hair regrowth. It treats the bald patches, activates the follicle to show positive results for hair regrowth in both men and women. Mesotherapy treatment for hair loss is approached with injections while containing components necessary for hair restoration or revitalization. So mesotherapy treatment takes around 10 to 30 minutes depending on the areas of baldness or thinning hair. The last one is derma roller. Derma roller for hair is highly effective in tackling hair loss, hair growth and regrowth. It's a form of micro needling having tiny needles varying from 0.25 mm to 1.5 mm. When you roll the derma roller on your scalp so that the remedial qualities of oil can easily reach the hair follicle, there are some tips to stop hair loss. Mediterranean diet. A study revealed that a diet containing raw vegetables and fresh herbs like the Mediterranean diet may reduce the risk of androgenic alopecia, that is female pattern baldness or the male pattern baldness, or slow down its onset. Best results were observed when participants consume high amount of these foods such as basil, salad greens more than 3 days a week. Proteins Hair follicles are made mostly of proteins called keratin. People with hair loss noted several nutrition deficiencies in participants including amino acids that serves as the building block of proteins. Eating a rich diet and protein may help prevent your hair loss. Healthy choices include foods like eggs, nuts, beans and peas. Fish and low calorie dairy products, chicken can also be counted. Vitamin A. Vitamin A is composed in parts of retinoids which has been shown to increase the rate of hair growth. This vitamin may also help in sebum production, keeping the scalp healthier and able to retain more hair. So fill your plate with foods rich in vitamin A such as sweet potatoes, sweet peppers and spinach, just to name a few. You can also use supplements such as multivitamin. Scientists have determined that vitamin A, B, C, D, iron, zinc are all important to hair growth, especially with cell turnover. You can find daily multivitamins at your grocery stores or the one your doctor prescribed. Vitamin D is associated with non-scarring alopecia. Treating deficiencies may help with regrowth. Biotin, also known as vitamin B7, is involved in fatty acid synthesis in the body. This process is essential to the hair cycle and you may experience hair loss if you have a deficiency. There are many things you can do to slow down or stop hair loss. But what to do depends on the reason why you are losing your hair. Some situations like hair loss after pregnancy may resolve on their own. And remember that everyone sheds hair daily, which is perfectly normal. Your healthcare provider may be able to diagnose if your hair loss is caused by things like thyroid issues, stress, scalp infections, androgenic alopecia or simply aging. Some hair care tips I would like to give is regular washing. Washing hair daily may protect against hair loss by keeping the scalp healthy and clean. The key is to use a mild shampoo. That do not bathe, as that may cause dry hair leading to hair loss. Coconut oil. Olive oil can also be used for deep conditioning, protecting it from dryness associated breakage. Olive oil is also a central ingredient to the Mediterranean diet which may help slow genetic hair loss. Consider applying a couple of teaspoons of olive oil directly to the hair and letting it sit for 30 minutes before washing out. 
go for gentle styling. Skip tight braids or ponytails that may pull your hair at the root and potentially lead to excessive hair loss. Prevent heat stylers like curling or straightening irons which may also damage or break the hair shaft. Hair processing such as chemical treatments like, like hair color may also damage your hair and scalp. Ask your stylist about alternatives like organic hair dyes and other that doesn't contain ammonia or peroxide. Proper circulation is also essential in the scalp region. Perhaps the cheapest method of getting thicker hair is a scalp massage. When you wash your hair, gently apply pressure with your fingertips around your scalp to encourage blood flow. For even more benefits, you can try a handheld scalp massager to also remove dead skin cells. Oiling your hair is very essential. One small tip I would like to give to all. Start back combing your hair, which increases the circulation in the root region of your hair, which stimulates hair growth. And the last tip, a proper good night sleep helps in everything. Try these things. This should definitely help. Try to live a stress-free life. Don't bother too much and live happily. If you liked what you heard or learned something new, be sure to click the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also hit the bell icon so that you get to notified first when I upload anything new.